In this video we are going to discuss how to create dummy variable in Stata. But before that, what dummy variable is? It is a categorical variable that can either have a value of 1 or 0. For example, we have a variable of gender in our data set. So, the gender variable would have a male value or a female value. But that would be a string value, that is non-numerical value. We want to convert in, it into numerical value. So what we would do is, we can give a code to, of 1 to a male and 0 to a female. So let's just say we create another variable by the name of say dummy. This variable would have a value of 1 where whenever we have a male in our data set and a value of 0 when there is a female in our data set. So let's move towards Stata and see how this can be done in Stata. So in Stata let us first download the example data set. For this video we are going to use the auto data set. You can either download it from file menu by moving towards the example data set and it would be in examples data set installed with stata auto data set so you can either describe the data or you can use it i would use the do file to perform these tasks so let's first describe the uh, install the data set so we we have installed the data set in our stata these are the variables and their labels Let's describe it. What do we have in our data? So these are the variables that we have in our data set. The make of the car, the its price, its uh, mileage, uh, repair record, etc. So, so, so this is a bunch of data that we are going to use. And let's just see how this rep78, this repair variables variable looks like. So we would tabulate and this tabulate is used to see the different categories or frequency distribution of a variable, a categorical variable. So we have this, these five categories in this uh, repair record 1978 variable and these are its frequencies and its percentage, cumulative percentage. We just wanted to see how this variable looks like. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a dummy variable but we have different methods of doing it. Our first method is we are going to generate this gen command a new variable by the name of rep2 which would have a value of 1 if this rep78 variable is having a value of 2. So let me run this command so it generated uh, a new variable let's browse it and see how it looks like so you can see that uh, we have generated a variable uh, by rep by the name of rep2 it would have a value of 1 when there is a value of 2 in this uh, variable but what about these missing values? We are going to fill out these missing values with 0 because the dummy variable would either have a value of 1 or 0. So let's run this command. Let me remove this, this aspect of this command first and then I would explain why I have done it that way. So when we run this command, what it would do is it would replace any missing values. Um, in this new variable by the value of 0 so replace this variable name would be equal to 0 if it is missing if that variable is have a missing value so let's run it now you see wherever there was a missing value it had been replaced with a 0 value but we have a problem and the problem is 
that you see this missing value in rep 78 so what it means is that we do not know which uh, what value should had been there we do not know it but when we put a value of 0 here it means that it is not 2 because when the, there is a 2 in rep 78 it would have a value of 1 0 means it is not 2 1 means it is a value of 2 so what we essentially wanted was that when there is a missing value in this rep 78 then we should also have a missing value in uh, this dummy variable otherwise it would you know it, it would be problematic so let's see what we need to do let me first drop this variable again and regenerate it drop rep 2 so I have dropped this variable and I would rerun this command and now run this command with an additional condition and what this condition says is that I need to replace this missing value with, with 0 if the, there is no missing value in rep 78 so this, this exclamation mark stands for not so if it is not missing in rep 78 so uh, let me read it in simple uh, words replace rep 70 rep 2 with 0 if it is missing and if the rep 78 variable is not missing so now when we run it you would see that we have zeros and ones but when there is a missing value in rep 78 we do not have any value in this our new regenerated variable so we have resolved our issue there are multiple ways to generate dummy variable one another way of generating a dummy variable would be to generate uh, you know to first generate uh, the variable with all zeros so let's run this command so what it have done is generate a rep 3 is equal to 0 all the values are 0 if the if, if it is not missing in rep 78 now we need to replace this variable the values in this variable with 1 if the value of repair is 3 so let's run this command and we would see that wherever there is a 3 we would have 1 in this rep 3 variable and uh, in all the other values it would have 0 except for the missing value in case of missing value our new variable would also have a missing value so if we just browse these two variables we, we, we can uh, know the difference so moving on let me bring this data window so there is another method of doing it the previous method we did was a two-step method we first generate a variable with the specific value and then we replace the um, the variable with another value but there is a one-step method where we generate a variable and this is how we would generate it so let me bring the data file and let's generate it so this is the variable that had been generated remember in this case we have only used one command instead of using two step method remember in previous both examples we have used a two step method in this case we are using a single step method and it had already included the ones and the zeros wherever we needed it we needed a value of 1 when there was a value of 4 in repair variable so just to look at um, side by side you can compare it with the original variable moving on let's just say we do not want you know this this these are the static values if we wanted to generate a variable uh, with a value of 1 this new dummy variable should have a value of 1 when this repair variable is greater than or equal to 3 so this is how we would use it we would use instead of using the double equal signs which is used for equality in stata we would use the greater than equal to sign 
to 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 do this task so let's run this so you see wherever there is a 3 or greater than 3 it would have a value of 1 and then when we have um, less than 3 it would have a value of 0 and then the missing variable missing value had already been treated so moving on this was the case where we use um, a single command to generate a variable but let's just say we wanted to generate five variables let's let me move back you see from here we know that there are five categories in in this variables this record variables if we wanted to generate five variables then what would we do should we run these five commands uh, you know um, we should have five commands but luckily we have a a method in stata uh, a command in stata that would generate the five variables five dummy variables uh, in one command and that is tabulate what we do is we tabulate this repair variable with the option of generate and this is the name of the new variable that would be created so let's just say we, we generate this it would have a, a dummy one where there is a one va value in a repair variable dummy two dummy three and so on and so forth so let me run this command so uh, let's move to the data file uh, and you would see that we have this five variables five dummy variables it ha this dummy one would have a value of one when there is a value of one in repair variable otherwise it would be zero and so on and so forth so instead of you know having five different commands to generate these five variables we did it using a single command of tabulate and lastly we need to understand if we needed to generate a dummy variable based on multiple conditions say for example we let me browse the data we have a variable of price of that specific model and then we have that variable of wrap that we had already discussed we want to generate a dummy variable that would have a value of one when the price is less than or equal to six thousand and the repair is more than or equal to three so this is the command that we would use to to accomplish that task and what it says is generate a dummy variable this is the name of the new variable that uh, variable would have a value of 1 when price is less than or equal to 6000 and the repair is greater than or equal to 3 if these two variables do not have a missing value if these two variables have a missing value then we would have a missing value in our new dummy variable so let's run this command and let's browse it so this is the price variable this is the repair variable and this is our dummy variable that we have just created you see when this repair variable have a missing value although there is a value in price variable we would have a missing value in dummy variable this is what we would like to have so when the rep is greater than uh, greater than uh, 3 and the price is less than 6000 then we would have 1 in this case we have 0 because although the repair is greater than 3 but the price does not meet the condition the price is uh, also greater than 6000 but we wanted it to be less than 6000 so um, this is how we create dummy variable and this do file is available in the link uh, uh, given in the description